हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज ऑप्टिकल प्रोफाइल प्रोजेक्टर सो एन ऑप्टिकल प्रोफाइल प्रोजेक्टर इज अ वर्साटाइल कंपेरेटर विच इज यूज फॉर इंस्पेक्शन पर्पज इट इज एस्पेशली यूज इन टूल रूम applications so this profile projector is used in tool room applications this profile projector will project a two dimensional magnified image of the work piece onto the viewing screen to facilitate measurement so it is using the optical principle and it is projecting the image on the screen from which we have to measure the work piece or the dimensions of the work piece so there are three main components in this profile projector so the projector itself comprising a light source a set of lens which is housed inside an enclosure and the work table to hold the work piece in place and there is a transparent screen with or without a chart gaze for comparison or measurement of parts so the projector will be having a light source and a set of lens this is the first part the second part is the work table to hold the work work piece in place the third one is the transparent screen which may have a chart gauge or it can be without the chart gauge for comparison or measurement of the parts now from this figure we can see the construction of this profile projector it has various parts so here you can see this is the work piece and this work piece which has to be inspected is mounted on a table such that it is in line with the light beam coming from the light source so lamp or the light source so this work piece must be placed such that it is in line so here we can see the light is passing on this work piece it must be in line with the light beam which is coming from this lamp or light source so the table on which this work piece is mounted it may be stationary or it may be movable so in most projectors the table can be moved in two mutually perpendicular directions in the horizontal plane so the work piece must be mounted on a table which may be either stationary or it may be movable but mostly this table on which the work piece is mounted has to be movable in two mutually perpendicular directions in the horizontal plane the light beam which is originating from this lamp is condensed by the condensing lens and then it falls on this work piece so we can see that lamp is the light source and there is a condensing lens which is present in this projection unit and the light from this lamp passes through this condensing lens which will condense the light beam and then it is made to fall on the work piece after the light falls on this work piece the image of the work piece is carried by the light beam and which passes through the projection lens so there is a projection lens here after the light beam falls on this work piece there will be an image formed and that image is passed on to the projecting 
lens. Now the work of this projection lens is to magnify the image which falls on a highly polished mirror which is kept at an angle. So after the image is formed then it passes through the projection lens. The work of this projection lens will be to magnify the image and then it will reflect the image on this mirror which is at an angle. So this mirror is a highly polished mirror. From the mirror the image is reflected on a transparent screen. So this is the magnified image from the projecting lens which falls on the mirror then it is reflected on the screen which is shown here. To get sharp and clear images we have to select high quality optical elements and lamps and also we have to mount them or keep them at the right location. So this will ensure accuracy in the measurement. So if the lighting source is not proper then we will not obtain sharp and clear images and therefore it will be the measurement which we get will be inaccurate. The most preferred light source is the tungsten filament lamp. Even mercury and xenon lamps are also used sometimes. For more accurate and sharp images to be obtained, an achromatic collimeter lens may be placed in the path of the light which is coming from the lamp. So here before we send it to the projection lens, we make this light that is the light from the or the light beam from the lamp to pass through a collimeter lens. So what does this collimeter lens do? It will reorient the light rays into a parallel beam which is large enough in diameter to provide full coverage of the workpiece. So before we pass the light or make the light to fall on this workpiece, we will pass it through the collimeter lens which will reorient the light rays into a parallel beam of light coming from the parallel beam of light which is large enough in diameter to cover the full workpiece. So this collimetered beam of light will pass through the area of the workpiece in position on the work table. So after it is reoriented that is the light rays are reoriented then this light is made to pass on the workpiece which is positioned on the work table. So now getting into the applications of this profile projector. The first one it is used in the inspection of elements of gears and screws. Second application is measurement of pitch circle diameter of holes located on the components. So this profile projector can measure the pitch circle diameter of holes which are already located on the components. The third application is, so it can measure unusual profiles on the components like involute profile, cycloidal profile which are very difficult to be measured by any other means. So the difficult or unusual profiles on the components can be measured with the help of this profile projector. Measurement of tool wear. How this measurement is done? The drawing of the tool to scale is made on a tracing sheet. The tracing sheet will be clamped on the screen. Now the used tool is fixed on the table and the image is projected to the required magnification. 
by using a pencil we can easily trace the actual profile of the tool onto the tracing sheet so this image will be superimposed on the actual drawing that is how we will measure the tool wear so the first drawing of the tool which is used for the measurement is traced on a tracing sheet but then the tool which is weared or which is already undergone wear is magnified with the help of this profile projector and then by using the pencil we will trace the actual profile of the tool on the tracing sheet so when we superimpose these two images we will be able to find the tool wear this is how we will measure the tool wear with the help of this profile projector so this is all about the profile projector